So we just hired Russ at Stremmer. You know him at Gadget King, and you're probably watching this on GadgetKing.com or the Gadget King channel. Maybe you're watching on my channel. I don't know. Wherever this is, we just hired Russ, and this is Russ's Tesla. And Russ is being camera shy, so he's not showing you what he looks like in doing this. He's running the camera. But we're going to drive from San Jose to San Diego for a meeting with LG. And we're going to do it in the electric Tesla. Now, if you've seen the things with New York Times about how far and how realistic is it to drive a Tesla from point A to point B, well, we're gonna find out. The Tesla should have about a 260 mile range if it's at the max charge. We're gonna space ours out so that it should be about 150 miles between checkpoints. So our first checkpoint is going to be in Kalinga, just off the I-5. All right, here's the start of the trip. We're starting off with a range of 254 miles in San Jose. And here's our route, 144 miles to the first stop, which is in Colinga off Highway 5. Let's see how this goes. We're, we're cruising at 69. We're not driving like animals here. So I'm going to try and shoot this without getting too much of the glare. And I apologize that there's so much of the screen refresh showing. But so. Over here, you've got a dip where we were recharging because we laughed and let off of the gas and the regenerative kicked in. And then over here is going up and coming down basically a hill. And so that's the usage from that. And it says that our projected range is 176 miles. When we started, we were at 144 miles to our destination. We're now at 93, so we've gone... Um, 44 and 7, so 51 miles, and in that time we've burned what was about 59 miles worth of uh, energy, and we've got the cruise control set at about 69 miles an hour, so not bad. Same color, same rims, same spoiler. You got basically the exact same configuration. Well, do you have a lot of choice? Yeah, totally. I mean, you, there's well, obviously the colors, but the spoiler on there is a carbon fiber spoiler that not a lot of people have. He's got the, which one? Uh, which one did you opt for? There's only one carbon fiber. They still owe it to me, but uh, the graphite gray or black rims. Not a lot of people go for that option. The 21 inch instead of 19 inch. It's basically the same car. The entire uh, roof is glass. Um, you can also have a standard metal roof. So if you can see, we get yeah. lots of light through. And that's all, folks. Okay, so we've got 87 miles of range left after we left from San Jose, and we are at the Harris Ranch where there is the Tesla reserved parking charging next to the subway. And there we are on the map, kind of still flickery. Um, and the charger's right over there, so we'll shoot a shot from outside. So apparently you have to be a better parker than, than Russ was because the, the cord is awfully short and doesn't reach. We just got here. So where are you coming from? Uh, we've been, uh, we came from LA, we went up to Brentwood and then we're coming back. Oh, so, oh, so, you're, so you are coming from, yeah, from the north. Okay, we just left from San Jose. Yeah, so, but you made, it, you made it up just fine from LA. Yep, yeah, no problem, it's awesome. Cool. So, uh, yeah, here was the bottleneck, just the one station. You see those six over there? They're all under wraps. When we first, oh. when we, when we first arrived here, yeah. we went that way first. We didn't know where this was, and we thought, oh, my God, they're all shut down. We've, oh. only, we've, we've only got, like, 100 miles left. Yeah, we're really mile trip. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, let me, put, let me get started then. You have to get real close, by the way. The cord won't even reach. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've done uh, three. Three supercharged. Awesome, so that's far. cool. Very it's really cool. cool. Oh, yeah, this is our first feeling. one. So this is climbing up. Basically, it's telling you it'll get that amount of miles of charge per hour. So in an hour, it thinks it's going to put. It's still climbing, but somewhere around 200 miles of charge per hour. You just saw the range go up from 87 to 88 miles. It's pulling 360 volts. 255 amps. This is a dangerous amount of electricity. <laughs> I mean, normally if you're doing it off of a dryer port at home, you're getting 220 volts uh, and about 20 to 30 amps. This is a serious amount of power. So I'm at Harris Ranch and we have just finished eating, but we charged. 
and we were amazed at how fast the supercharger actually goes. We were charging at about 165 miles of range per hour. So you can charge about three times faster than you'd be able to drive. So if you're going to take a three hour trip, you'd plan that you were going to spend an hour of charging during that time. Now, at the moment, there's only one charging station, but under construction, they've got space for four there and two here. So they'll have a total of six chargers. Maybe they'll keep the subway one and there'll be seven, but so those are coming soon. And I wouldn't have said that you'd need them, but it turns out that while we were here, there were four Teslas charging and there was, you know, a queue stacked up to see them. So And update, it was 273 miles of charge per hour. It was 273 miles of yeah, charge? Yeah. Oh, okay. So one, you basically have to charge for one hour for every four and a half hours of driving. That's it. So on to the next supercharger. Well, we're in Lebick, which is the stop after Harris Ranch. It's a little loud here, so I apologize, but there are six charging stations at this location, and it's right next to a yogurt land, so we can kill some time getting some frozen yogurt. Um, probably not as exciting as Harris Ranch, but it's all right. And we made it here with about 60 miles left, and we were at how many miles when we left Harris? I don't remember. You were, you, you, you were going to stop at oh, 182? Uh, right about two, just under 200. Just under 200. So we used about 140 miles of charge to get here, and it was not quite 140 miles to get here. Uh, but it was uphill, and it's getting warmer, so we were running the air conditioning the whole time. So there you go. So here's the spot. Um, our only big complaint, even though there's a yogurt land, there is nothing to wash your windshield. And on the I-5, you really kind of need something to wash your windshield. So the car is charging, and it's not charging as fast as it was the last time. Um, and this time the fan is running, so the batteries are apparently uh, warmer, because either because the car has been running and such. Uh, but one of the interesting things about this particular Tesla station is that it has those solar panels on the roof and apparently the tesla says that this makes it um actually power carbon neutral whatever that it's generating as much energy from the solar on the roof of this installation as the charging units would have so that's kind of interesting so this is the stop in la at crenshaw and this is at the tesla dealer um, which is also right next to that big building over there, which is SpaceX. And so those things that you see sitting just outside of the, of the warehouse over there are actually like rocket ship parts. And so there's like a nose cone off of a rocket and other things just sitting over there. So this is the Model X SUV and I'm shooting through the window so you can't get too close, but this is the first time I've seen one out in the wild. Not that this is technically the wild, but in real life, that's the first time I've seen the Tesla SUV. I'll see if I can get a better angle on it, but that's probably about as good as I can get without getting too much glare. So we reached San Diego last night. It was kind of dark, so we didn't shoot a video. Uh, but we're at the Hilton in Torrey Pines, San Diego, and we are charging at the Blink chargers. And if you are a Blink member, they're not a horrible deal especially since you're out and about but if you're non member they're not so great because we're paying two dollars an hour for charging um, because we signed up for blink but the card didn't arrive until tomorrow ish so we didn't have it in time so we're paying two dollars an hour and at the rate it's charging it's charging at about 16 miles of range per hour so we're basically paying four dollars for every 32 miles of range if you drive my Mini Cooper, you're going to get 32 miles to the gallon and you're going to pay $4 for a gallon of gas. So right now, the Tesla is costing the same amount to run as my Mini Cooper. So, um, and the Blink stations, the touch screen didn't work very well. The, the interface was not intuitive, especially since the touch screen didn't work. You had to touch in a very specific spot in order to get into where you could enter the little code that they had given you and entering the code was difficult because the touch screen didn't line up so you couldn't just type things in you had to try and figure out where you were supposed to touch in order to get the number that you wanted so overall the blink experience is pretty sucky especially after being spoiled by the superchargers where we charged at 200 miles per hour so one hour of supercharger was more than an overnight here 